some of the Sarnia family were living the American dream. This is the house of the men's uncle, Ruslan. By Friday, he was living a nightmare, furious with his nephews and wondering what had happened to make them become America's most wanted. He'd made a success of his life along with his brother, who'd brought the Sane brothers to the city, sometimes called the Cradle of Liberty. They were educated in Boston, just another two young sons of immigrants growing into the American way, but with memories of their heritage. Their roots are in a Chechnya brutalized by the wars of independence against Russia. The Chechen nationalist movement, though, morphed into one demanding an Islamic state in the whole region of the Caucasus. That led to terror attacks, such as that against the Moscow Theater, which resulted in 130 people dying. And the Beslan school siege in North Ossetia, where 334 people died, including 186 children. But the jihadist worldview had penetrated the Caucasus, and in the wake of 9-11, Chechens were fighting in Afghanistan and Iraq, some are now in Syria. Investigators will want to know, could the Boston attack be linked to Chechen independence? It seems unlikely. Or might the brothers have been radicalized by Chechens holding the globalist jihadi views? I'm particularly interested in finding out whether they tried to travel to Chechnya, whether they had connections to Chechnya. I doubt it. I think they probably tried to do that but failed to do it. Um, I think in the end, probably the internet played an important role. This is probably where they got their instructions from. This is probably where they found out how to build a bomb. And this will feature very prominently in discussions about how to combat radicalization, uh, homegrown radicalization within the US. There is another possibility, one where Columbine meets the Caucasus. The Columbine massacre was carried out by two young men alienated from those around them. The Oklahoma bombing was carried out by another young American who distanced himself from the mainstream, Timothy McVeigh. There are suggestions the Sarnia brothers, disillusioned with their lives, went down a similar path. Not being born American, they also had a quick route to feeling themselves outsiders. Their own uncle described them on Friday as losers. Tim Marshall, Sky News.